Hey guys, this is Trey, back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how I made this brisket on my pellet grill, and I'll show you that now. So here's my Pit Boss Lexington 500. You can see it's a normal Pit Boss, and I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for about $100, and you can see the grates are missing right now because I just took them in to clean them, and it's in very good shape. The only thing it didn't come with were just the thermometers, which is fine to me. I mean, it works perfectly fine. I've smoked burgers on this. I smoked sausages on it, and it's been awesome so far. But I've been using mesquite pellets that it came with. But today, I just bought these Bear Mountain Applewood pellets for this brisket cook, which I'm really excited about. And I'm going to show you how to trim the brisket in a couple minutes. You can see here's the hopper. There's a couple mesquite pellets still in here, which I'm hoping will just burn off and start up cook. But I'm going to go ahead, fill this hopper up. And this hopper, when you fill it to the top, it should run about 17 hours, you know, give or take a couple hours. But hopefully I won't have to fill it too much. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it up now. So here's the hopper all filled up. And I might have to fill it up a little bit more during the actual cook, but that should be it for now. And you can see the reason I bought the Bear Mountain pellets is because I've seen some good reviews on them. And also when you're buying pellets, you want to look for 100% natural hardwood. Because what some companies may do, I think they do it, but I can't for, say, for sure say it. But I think they take other woods and just add a flavoring to it. So they might take some oak wood and then add some apple flavoring to it. But this, you want to get it because it's actual apple wood which makes it more of a smoky flavor and more of that actual flavor, which is good. But now I'm gonna go ahead inside and show you how to trim my brisket. So I'm back out here and I just plugged it in and to start this, all you have to do is hit the power button. You can see the electronics will light up in a second or actually it's off, you can see it's off here. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to this smoke point and that's how you actually start it. You can hit this prime button, which pushes a whole bunch of pellets in there and I'm going to go ahead get the grates and set them up as this is starting so you can see the fire's lit in there and I'm actually going to take this grate off and then move this over the fire that way it can kind of spread the heat out equally and not have one spot that's for searing because this is kind of the searing spot for the fire and that way the brisket can cook more evenly and you can see there's some a little bit of white smoke but it just smoked a lot and you want to wait till that disappears which now it's disappearing and then you can finally close it up and then set it to your temperature i'm going to set it to around 250 and then i'm going to be putting it on so i just set this to 250 you can see right there and i'm going to go ahead close this and let this come up the temperature but you can see i put that plate face plate over it so it should evenly disperse the heat and I'm gonna wait let this go up to temperature and then I'm gonna add the brisket all right so you can see here's the brisket in the package and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up you want to cut on this brisket deco fat because I'm gonna that's the first thing I'm gonna take off right here is all this fat so if I cut into this that's okay where you really don't want to slice into the meat because that would just ruin the meat so I'm gonna go ahead and get this open all right, so here's the trim brisket. You can see here's all of the trimmings I got. You can see all just like this. I made a nice S curve with that. And then you can see I took out the deco fat and everything. Here's the underside of it. I couldn't get all the silver skin, but that should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead with my two parts pepper to one part salt to one part garlic powder. And I'm gonna be putting it in here. This was an old maple syrup pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and season it now. So you can see I just seasoned the brisket all up and make sure you get the sides on that from Chud's Barbecue because you want to make sure everything's nicely seasoned. And this is a Central Texas style rub. You can see temperature is right at 250. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it down and this is going to be fat side up. So this is actually going to be flipped. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And now with all these extra scraps and parts, I'm going to go ahead, put this in a Ziploc bag and freeze it for when I want it. And then I'm eventually going to be turning this into some burgers and that'll probably be it with this. And I'll be able to use some, get some burgers and brisket out of it. So I'm going to go ahead, start freezing and I'll show you the brisket. So I'm going to open this up and you can see I have the brisket going on, getting nice and smoky and made sure all the seasonings everywhere. So I'm going to check this in an hour or two and I'll see you then. Thank you. 
All right, so here's the brisket. It's starting to get some nice color on the outside, and it's getting nice and hard. And I probably should have put a binder on it, so if you do this, maybe put a binder on it, and that might help. You can see some juices leaking out there. You can see I poked a hole for a thermometer, and you can see the juices leaking out there. You see some nice smoke color on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. Right now, the fatty point section is at around 142 degrees, and this leaner flat section is around 153 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it, and once it hits 190 degrees internal, I'm going to wrap it up and do it the foil boat method. So you can see I flipped it, and I did just add a little bit more of the pepper mixture, but you can really see this nice deep red color, which is awesome. But you can also see there's some fat right there, and that's why I flipped it over, so hopefully that fat on the top can render off. And I'll check back again when it's 190 degrees, and I'm going to use the foil boat method. Alright, so you can see here's the brisket, and it's getting some really nice deep red color, which is the smoke. And this point area is basically done already, so I'm going to go ahead. I have the aluminum foil set up to do the foil boat method, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and I'll show you what it looks like after. So you can see I have it wrapped up in the foil boat. And I made sure to cover these edges because this point down here was already starting to get a little bit overcooked. And I don't want it to get overcooked. So I'm going to put this on the smoker. You can see the bark's pretty good except for this part. I'm going to go ahead and get it back on the smoker. See, here's the brisket. Right now, if I put it down here in the lean section, you can see it just slides in just like butter. It's in the 200s already, which is perfect. And then up here, see how it just slides in just like butter. That's going up in temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I'm pretty sure it's cooked. And it's 4 a.m. right now, so my parents aren't too happy because how late it is. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here and show you what to do inside and how I'm going to wrap it in butcher's paper. So you can see here's the brisket. And it has a really nice bark on it right here and in other places you can see the juice in the bottom which is really good you can see it's got some nice red smoky color all over it i'm going to go ahead and put it on the butcher's paper you can see here it's all wrapped up and it's all wrapped up in this butcher paper and then i have this roaster oven that i'm going to be putting it in overnight or until i slice it just to make sure it stays at temperature and when you keep it at 170 it turns the gel the collagen into gelatin which makes it really juicy and that makes it an overall brisket so i'm going to go ahead and put it in here so you can see this is it after resting in the roaster oven and i'm going to go ahead cut into it and see the fat rendered nicely and it's at a good temperature to slice it so right here is the flat and you've got to cut it in half here and then for the flat you slice it this way and then this is the point, AKA the fatty side, and you're gonna to wanna to slice it like this. And I'm gonna go ahead, slice it open, and show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right through the middle. You can see right here's the point. You can see all that juice coming out of it. I'm very happy with this right now first time cooking a brisket you can see all of it leaking out and then there is a slight smoke ring it didn't get too shredded on the bottom which I was a little bit nervous about because the heat comes from the bottom you can see there is a little bit of a smoke ring it's not big because it's not like an offset smoker but I'm gonna go ahead cut this up for the family and that's gonna be it for the video thank you for watching and please subscribe